Well, hi guys, you're back here with Barry, and uh, I got a call earlier from Johnny. He was way out in a little place near Limon called La Monsana, which means the apple, a little town, in, and uh, gosh, John knows people everywhere in this country, and you know, I figured it'd be really nice. We had to get to the lawyers in Nagua around 4.30 today, and it's, it's in the morning now, and uh, we had a whole day to kill, and... John had an idea since he had to meet up with me in Nagua, and he said, You know what, Barry? You haven't been out here in years. Come on out and pick me up, and you won't be disappointed. He said, Bring out the cameras. We'll do a little bit of, you know, a little bit of video, and I'll take you to a beach called El Maroma. And he said, You're going to really like it, and I know our subscribers are going to love it. So you're in the old front seat again with Barry strapped in next to me, and... I'm just doing some basic video of, uh, you know, this, um, the last time I was here, you got to understand, at least four or five years ago, and none of this was like this, okay, none of this pavement, none of these stone gutters, nothing was remotely close to this, so once again, it, it backs up my feelings about how there is such progress on the infrastructure of this country, it, it truly is amazing, so I'm, I'm out here, uh, you know, enjoying this. Uh, this is what old Barry loves to do. You know that. And uh, you guys, you know, especially when you guys are enjoying it and you're right here with us. Uh, about a week, a uh, week and a half from now, we'll be heading out for a four-day tour. Uh, Johnny, Alduino, and me. Uh, I guess you can say the Three Stooges are heading out for a little bit of fun and filming. And we'll have a pretty good time doing that, and I know you guys are going to enjoy it too. Uh, for the Something Feels Wrong, it's going to be a lot of new areas for all our subscribers that have not seen yet. We'll probably head out to the southwest coast around an area called Los Patos, which means the ducks. Uh, maybe Cabo Rojo, and um, possibly even La Cueva, way down by the border near there. Uh, a little nice little place called the Cave. And uh, I'm sure you guys will enjoy that. <clears throat> what else can I chat about while I'm on my way to get my bud? Well, after, uh, we'll pick him up and um, we'll head on out, maybe have some lunch, uh, you know, maybe in El Limon. We'll pass by the waterfalls, but uh, at best, maybe I'll get Leanne to stitch in some commentary about uh, the famous waterfall at El Limon, because, uh, you know, that's quite famous, and I've been there many times, and... Uh, you know, you guys can find that out uh, just about anywhere. Just look up uh, La Salto El Limon, the Waterfalls of El Limon. Anyway, uh, I am uh, really still kind of um, shocked, I guess, for lack of a better word. Uh, you have to understand, all this was potted and full of potholes and broken old pavement. And none of these beautiful, uh, massive rain ditches were in place. And, and in this uh, area of the country, at certain times of the year... You really do need that. And uh, I, I just, uh, what a difference a couple years, a few years makes. I, I really don't believe it. And um, like I say, when, when we say this country is on the run, it's on the run. Whether they're spending too much money or not, I don't know. But for right now, this is sure on a run. And I don't see any major changes uh, over the next decade. I really do feel um, it's time for this country to come about and um, come into the game and uh, really show the world what kind of diversity and what kind of self-reliance is really found here in the Dominican Republic. Uh, it's not, like I always say, uh, it's not for everybody, and I don't know of any one place of the more than 100 that I've been in that is right for everybody, and I think the world's just designed that way. But nevertheless, we... In this country, I should say, um, definitely have picked up their socks on infill structure and, um, my gosh, electrical wiring. Uh, many, many parts that used to be basically chicken wire twisted together are now cement pulled. Um, I would say Western nation quality uh, wiring in several locations. Not all, not by a long shot. It's a big island, but it's getting there. So I'm going to hang a left over here and cut in. I'm about, um, oh, I'd say about 15 minutes out of uh, Limon. So what I'll do is hang a hairpin and uh, 
heading on this way. This is going to take me into Limon, and uh, before that, just prior to it, that little town called the Apple, La Manzana. And um, we're going to hunt out and find a nice little place. Maybe we can grab lunch together after I pick up my bud. And um, if it's a nice place and worthwhile, we'll even video it for you guys. And, um, you know, this is a, a really typical day of uh, for old Barry here. If I'm not working uh, with clients and taking them on tour, if I'm not in the projects... Uh, because basically I'm not involved with constructions. Uh, people choose their own contractors. You know, sure, I'll help with a question or two. I'm always here for that. But uh, other than that, so, you know, occasionally I get my free time. Hey, and a guy waving to me. But, um, gosh, uh, I think you'll, uh, from what John's telling me, you're going to really like this beach. I'm not sure. I might not know it um, as El Marom. Uh, maybe I've been there, but I don't think so. Uh, like I say, old Barry's uh, seen a lot of this country, but there's still several parts of it that have yet to be explored because of the so many side roads. So here's what to do. Just buckle up that seatbelt, stay snug, enjoy the ride. I'll be picking up Johnny, and we'll continue with this a little further on down the road. So we'll pick up with you later, and uh, this is Barry and DR for Something Feels Wrong. We'll talk to you soon.